This is a quick tutorial for how to make a book trailer on Adobe Spark. We're going to get started here and we're going to start from scratch. Our video. We'll just skip and we're going to move to make up my own. And we're ready. We're going to start with a photo of the book cover. You don't have to start that way, but that's one way I like to start. So we're going to upload a photo from the computer. I already have a book cover on my computer. I go to recent here. That's the one that I want. And I'm going to go to edit and bring that in a little bit so I can see both the whole cover there, the title and the author. Okay, and I'm going to choose my theme now. And I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see they have a lot. So, and I can always change this at any time if I decide I don't like it. I'll start out this way. Now I need my next slide. And I've already written a script for this. And I'm going to start out by saying, Iris and Lark are twins. Okay, so I want a picture with this too. I need a layout here, so I'm going to go to layout. And there's a few different ways I can do it. We're going to try, I'm going to show you a couple di different ones. Um, I can go to caption here if I want to, and that gives me several options. Um, if I wanted to, I could start uh, with one of their icons. They have some fun icons and I could go with twins. Lots of fun twin icons. I could do that one or I can go with a photo. And I've already showed you how to uh, upload a photo from your computer but here and it already has twins in there. I can pick a photo that they have and maybe I like this one so I can put this one in. That's what it looks like with caption. Um, but I can go back to layout. I can also try this split screen if I like it. Um, if I go to full screen, it uses it as a background. And that sometimes works better um, if you have something that's um, more of a, a simple background instead of a real photo like that. So maybe we'll go back to the split screen here. Um, and from here, I just really continue on um, with my next uh, part of my um, script and another picture. I can do something entirely different. In fact, it looks kind of nice if I um, alternate with different styles of layout. Um, and you know, as I go along, if I decide even at the very end, I want to change the, the theme, I can do that and kind of play around and see what different kinds of um, themes look like. And when I'm finished, I have the credit slide all ready for me at the end. It will fill in um, any of the information from the, the material that I take right from Adobe Spark, which is really nice. If I have uploaded my own photos that are copyrighted, I will need to put in information for that myself. Um, I don't have anything here that I need to do. Um, I don't need to put in copyright information for a book cover. Um, so I can add my own name here. I'm going to say trailer. I always like to say trailer when I'm doing a book because I don't want it to look like I wrote the book, just that I created the trailer. And the other thing, a couple more things I need to do yet. Um, I like to add a little more time here and maybe not nine seconds. That's kind of a lot. Maybe for the book cover, just five seconds. The things that you have to read, I like six or seven seconds at the least. If the text is really long here, if it's going to take me a long time to read it, like I've got a, a two, three sentences, um, I might want as much as 10 seconds there. It's frustrating if, if uh, the, the show goes so quickly that you can't 
read the material there. So you want to want to go through and adjust the time. Um, your other option, of course, is um, that I'm uh, you're narrating this. You can narrate and have text, or you can narrate instead of having text. Um, and then finally, I'm going to want some music. Unless I'm narrating, I might not want music if I'm narrating, or if I do, I want it really quiet. Um, probably don't want music if I'm narrating. Or maybe I just want a little the beginning or the end. Um, I can get pretty fancy with this. But I'm not narrating, so I definitely want some music. And, and this is my volume bar. Obviously, when you're showing it, you can change the volume too, but... Um, you're talking at the same time, you know, the volume of everything is going to change together. So I'll just try this. And they give you some categories here. And I'm not going to go through and play a bunch of them for you, but um, you can see how that works. And they don't have a lot of options, but they have enough so that you could find something that suits the mood of your piece. There's also a way to add your own music. Um, uh, that's something that you can figure out if you want to. When you are ready, when you are finished, um, you can share this. Uh, if you go on share, it will show you how to create a link. Um, and uh, the other option is you can download it. This is the way that you would get it on YouTube. And those are some basic instructions for creating a book trailer on Adobe Spark.